Operationally, System Dynamics uses a particular kind of computer simulation model that can be used for understanding behavior of the system and improving the policies in those systems to get better behavior. System Dynamics, unlike a number of modeling approaches, draws upon a much bigger, broader set of information sources. Not only the numerical data, which is often the only input into modeling, but also the information one finds in written databases in libraries, in the press about the nature of business and social systems, and most importantly, information that people have from their own experiences, information that they carry in their heads. And it is this information in people's heads that can be most important. Imagine your organization and that at 10 o'clock some morning, you just got up and left. If your place was taken by someone with no experience at all in that organization or anything similar to it, would you simply say to them, look at all the numerical data in my office, look at all the written policies and carry on for me? Of course not. This would be totally impossible. The world runs on the databases in people's heads. It runs on experience. It runs based on apprenticeship, by being there, by learning from doing. And it is our feeling in system dynamics that that database must be used if you're going to arrive at the structures and the policies to be represented in models.